Hello everyone, today we're talking about another push-up mistake. This one is when your head and your neck fall down towards the ground while you're doing your push-ups. So this is really important because the neck position is what's determining how all the nerves come out of the spinal cord and the neck and supply your arms. So if you start to get tinglys or you start to get nerve stretches or burns or you have other shoulder pain issues, you should definitely look at the neck position. What does it look like? As I come down like this, I generally break at the head first because it feels like I've done a push-up already if I bring my head that way because I'm using my eyes as a sensation. What I'd rather you do is use your arms as the sensation and keep your head up away from the ground. What does it look like though? We lead here and then we come down like this and then we push away like this and sometimes the head doesn't come up. Sometimes if I'm trying to cue it, the head does come up at the top, but then you lose it on the way down. You're going to feel this a lot in your arms and not a lot in your chest. Um, big things that I like to cue is I want you to keep your face away from the ground. And that's the first and foremost thing. So if you're doing it right here, try to fix it first and just see if you can get that position. It's not a super straight narc like this. It's a little bit of even look upward, but don't let your chin protrude forward. Okay, and that gives me my position. Now, if you're losing it at the bottom, it's much more difficult. I haven't found an easy fix for people because they're very overloaded in this position. So first, you gotta make sure you can kind of understand what's happening. So take a look at your video or whatever you're doing when you're um, noticing this and just say, oh yeah, try to correlate what you're seeing with what you're feeling. And so you can say, oh yeah, my position is good there, but it's definitely different here. Okay, I gotta emphasize it for you. There you go. Um, this, I think it, it's helpful to think about it from the support muscles. So your armpit muscles, your serratus anterior, they keep your body supported up. And if they're shutting off completely on your way down, you're just gonna have stuff sag towards the ground in this upper body region. So what you wanna kinda of do is actively push away from the ground the entire time you're lowering. So if I just lower, it's really easy for my head to come forward. But if I hold that tightness as I come down, it doesn't happen, right? So think about this active first, you got to find the position. You got to make sure you can get there at the top. From there, you hang on to it and you actively push away from the ground on your way down. It's kind of counterintuitive. It takes a little bit of coordinating, but uh, you'll be able to do it and it'll help you out. Last point is that sometimes this just needs training. So give it some time, practice through it. And, you know, if you can't get any good reps, you got to find a better cue um, or just regress it. So it's easy to incline your hands on a bench or on a barbell and a power rack. <clears throat> you just move the hooks up and you put your hands on the bar. Don't be afraid to regress yourself. Don't be afraid to do fewer reps. I want them to be clean reps. And then you layer on the training volume after that.